Hi there, it's Christy with Peace, Love, and Games, and today we will be reviewing Torres. Torres is an abstract strategy game for two to four players by IDW Games. Torres is played over three rounds or years, and each year is separated into turns or seasons, three or four depending on the player count and the round. On your turn, you will have five action points to use, choosing between placing a knight, expanding a castle, moving a knight, buying an action card, playing an action card, or moving one space up the scoring track. At the end of the round, each of your knights that are highest on a castle scores by multiplying the height of where they stand by the footprint of the castle. So if you're four high on a castle spread over five squares, you'll score 20 points for that castle. Each player can score on a castle, but the person highest will have the most points. You can also get bonus points for having a knight at the king's castle on the same level as him, which will change with each round. After the three rounds, whoever has the most points wins. And that's it. At its core, Torres is a fairly simple game. Where the complexity comes in are the action cards. With the cards, you get a lot of fun actions that break the rules of the game. They can give you more action points to play with on your turn, or allow you to move in ways that you wouldn't normally be able to move. This allows some creative maneuvering to try to get one up on your opponents. Taurus is a game that I've pulled out to play even after I was no longer required to play it for this review, and that alone probably tells you how much I like the game. It is, to date, my favorite 3D abstract strategy game. There's just something really satisfying about building up the castles and figuring out the best moves. I've played this game with both adults as well as children as young as eight, and no matter who I played with, they have caught on to the game quickly and have enjoyed the game. The components are well made and the game simply looks cool as you watch the castles build up and the knights spread across the board. The only con I have is that the pictures on the action cards are not very intuitive, so this player aid came in really useful. I never got to a point where I didn't need it. And that's Torres. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.